Starting a new creative project like writing a course lesson can be daunting, especially when you are not sure where to begin. Luckily, AI tools like GPT-4O and Sonnet 3.5 can make the process a whole lot easier. But don't just ask it to generate a lesson for you. There's a right way to use these tools so that it's not just another generated like piece. And that's exactly what I'll walk you through today. Let's go over some tips on how to use LLMs to assist in lesson writing effectively. By the way, these tips are useful for any type of writing task, like generating blog posts or creating online content or whatever. First things first, don't just use ChatGPT and call it done. Seriously, it shows when you rely solely on AI-generated content. Make sure you have a solid plan with your own ideas before involving an AI. LLMs are notorious for using generic language and might not make your lesson engaging. You'll also need to edit the output to ensure it reads well and keeps your audience interested. I'm not sure why, but ChatGPT loves to repeat itself again and again, framed differently, which is good for learning a new concept, but it is a bit too much in this case. Trust me, your lesson will be much better if you look out for those. Then, always provide input context to the LLM. This means gathering good data sources on your topic, ideally from multiple references and including them in your prompt, similar to being your own RAG system. Don't ask the AI to generate content purely from its own memory. Why? Because LLMs can sometimes hallucinate or present incorrect information. Imagine writing a lesson on a complex topic you are not familiar with. If you rely solely on the AI, you might include inaccuracies without even realizing it. For example, I once asked an AI to explain quantum entanglement and it gave me a plausible but completely wrong answer. If I hadn't double checked, I would have passed on misinformation. So make sure you understand the subject and have reliable sources to back you up. You can easily do that with tools like Perplexity or even just asking ChatGPT to find sources online. This not only helps you fact check the AI's output, but also allows you to add references or hyperlinks in your final lesson. The more trustworthy your content, the more confidence your students will have in you. Always use more than one input source for context. Just like in a long essay, don't rely on just one single article or book. By providing multiple sources, ideally three or more, you give the AI a richer base to generate content from. Remember what we did in our lesson research video earlier. You can use that material as context for the AI. When choosing an AI model, opt for a higher tier options like GPT-40, Sonnet 3.5, Gemini Pro 1.5, or Llama 405B. Avoid cheaper models. They are more likely to produce errors or hallucinations, even when given good sources. For instance, GPT-40 and Sonnet 3.5 are excellent for this task. While CloudSonnet 2.5 has a free tier, the free version of ChatGPT only offers GPT-40 Mini, which isn't quite up to the task. Now, let's talk about crafting good prompts for drafting a lesson from your source materials. Here's a good example. You can find all of them in the video description. Remember to always read every line of the AI's output carefully. Typos will have an impact on generation. Check for accuracy and be on the lookout for any hallucinations. This might mean it doesn't save you as much time as you'd hoped, but it's essential. You don't want to include incorrect information in your lesson. AI isn't magic and needs work, but it makes the whole process much easier. After that, edit and improve the text thoroughly. Add your own insights and personal touch. An anecdote or whatever you may think fits your own story, replacing what the AI generated. Make it engaging and personal. Also, check the structure. Ensure the lesson flows logically and that points aren't repeated. LMs can sometimes be redundant, so it's important to tidy things up. I already said that, but it's worth repeating here as this is a big flag of generated content, if you've spotted it. Finally, pay attention to the writing style. Make it interesting to read. Use short sentences and simple words. The basic grammar and syntax 101. Explain why the content is useful and why people should keep reading. Get the text into a story with a good storyline where each action or its consequence is a cause to the next. LLMs tend to write in a similar, somewhat bland style. By adding your unique voice, you set yourself apart from the crowd. So you can just give past examples you have from your writing and say it to follow your style. 
And remember, this approach isn't just for lessons or blog posts. You can use it to generate scripts for video lessons like we've done for this video, or even social media posts. Just adjust your prompt to include examples of the type of content you are aiming for. But no matter what, there will always be a need to pre-filter content and clean up and improve the final results. Don't let ChatGPT do everything. Never do that. So there you have it. A roadmap for using LLMs to assist in lesson writing. By following these steps, you can create high-quality, engaging lessons more efficiently. But remember, the AI is just a tool. It's up to you to make the lesson truly great. Thank you for watching and happy lesson writing.